Net neutrality is not in itself a difficult concept. It's simply the principle that all networks that participate in the internet have no restrictions on content, sites, platforms, the kind of equipment that can be attached, or the modes of communication. In a nutshell, no one person or group has any natural advantage or disadvantage. Net neutrality is not about asking for the internet for free. Net neutrality is not saying that we shouldn't pay more for higher quality of service. We always have, and we always will. One of the many problems of the debate surrounding net neutrality is that many internet users simply aren't aware of the many different ways that their devices go about accessing the sites that they use almost every single day. The loss of net neutrality would have the greatest impact on mobile devices, such as laptops, smartphones, tablets, or even e-readers, which all utilize Wi-Fi or hotspots. If net neutrality were to be lost, then even if an internet user paid a premium for so-called high-speed internet access, they still may not be able to access certain sites if those sites didn't also pay those premium prices, or if the user happened to be at a hotspot that wasn't provided by the company that they paid for. Essentially, a worst case scenario breaks down to this. Only sites that pay a premium to a given company can be accessed by a consumer at a reasonable speed by someone who also pays a premium to the exact same company. There have been some suggestions that we don't need legislation because we haven't had it. create a bunch of uh, gateways uh, that prevent somebody who doesn't have a lot of money but has a good idea from being able to start their next YouTube or their next Google. Flash looks like a technology that had its day, uh, but is really on, is waning.